Hi YouTubers, it's Michelle Taberge and I'm a little overdue for an update on my unfolding of a painting series. Series. Anyway, um, so I thought I'd bring you up to date with where it's at. So I went through a phase which I didn't videotape, but basically I was just feeling like I need to shake it up because I've been watching these for so long and they're just sitting there and I haven't been able to work on them because I'm still waiting for the pouring medium to clarify. And you can watch the previous videos and learn more about that in my YouTube pouring channel. I'm not looking for suggestions on that. I'm just telling you I'm waiting for this process to complete. So anyway, I it just got to the point where it's like, I just want to do something radically different because I'm you know, I wasn't able to work on them, but I kept looking at them, and so it was like I was moving forward and the paintings weren't, if that makes sense. So anyway, so then two things happened. Um, one was that I, someone told me a story of some songwriter, singer, pop star, some, I think it might have been John Cougar Mellencamp, and they'd overheard an interview with him saying, ha He'd released a song recently that he'd been writing for 20 years, or he started it 20 years ago. And that just made me feel better about this process because it's nowhere near 20 years for these paintings. But I just wanted, it just gave me permission to not feel like I have to complete them on anybody else's timetable. It's their own timetable. So I am not abandoning them. I'm just still waiting for them to dry. But because looking at them over and over, I'm just getting so sick of them because I can't do anything to change the things I want to change until the medium clarifies. So I'm doing the time-honored technique of turning them to the wall so I won't see them for a while. So um, you may have noticed I taped something up here. This is some old scraps of palette paper and I have some silicone release paper. Those are both papers that acrylic won't stick to. So um, I don't want them to stick to the wall, obviously. They did that before I had to repair this wall. So I'm just going to turn them around. And by the way, if you're not sure, it's just a little hazy here. It might be hard to see on the video, but there's a little bit of haze there and it's still drying. They'll be able to still, but water molecules will still be able to evaporate if they're turned this way. So I'm going to do this. Turn them around and I'm working on other projects and I will come back to these with fresh eyes now that I don't have to see them all the time. So there's your update on this painting series and more discussion of the creative process. I'm really curious to hear about your experiences, if there's any pieces that you've worked on that have taken much longer than you had anticipated and how that worked out for you. So thanks for the comments.